Welcome back to Make World Miss Markle or hello if you're new to my channel. Today I'm going to be looking at the laser cutter. This is for my design and technology and fashion students or anyone who's just interested. And this is my baby. I love the laser cutter so much. You can engrave, you can cut out on the material. We tend to use cardboard, acrylic, um, plywood. Uh, materials such as cotton, polyester, satin is perfect for it, leather and you can actually cut metal but not this one's not powerful enough there are more industrial laser cutters that you can do that with and you can engrave onto surfaces like pine and other types of woods and it's just an amazing innovate, innov innovative easy for me to say uh, machine as well and um, what else? Nothing else. Card. Prototyping. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most important things with the laser cutter is to always do a prototype. So I have used cardboard to actually cut out the shape, the embellishment, to cut it out and to engrave. The reason you use cardboard is because if you make any mistakes on your CAD, Computer Aided Design Drawing, and we use 2D design for that in school, so if you make any mistakes with it, then you can see on the card and then um, go back to the 2D design and rectify it and correct it. And then when you're happy with your prototype, you then move on to the materials. The reason you don't use the expensive materials like plywood and acrylic is because it's expensive and we don't want to waste it. So that's why we do prototyping. Here's an example of 2D design work created by my fashion student, Chloe. A massive thank you for allowing me to use this for my YouTube channel. And as you can see, there's a red outline and that is to indicate cut with the laser. And there's a green line for, for vector engraving. And depending on your laser cutter, colours can vary as well, so this is just what we use in our school. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm using card for prototyping just to check the measurements, the scale, the lines to make sure they're clean and tidy. Once I'm happy with the card prototype and the design on 2D design, I'm going to move on to the expensive material. I'm going to use plywood. So what I'm going to do is now insert the plywood into the laser cutter. I'm going to lift the lid. And I'm going to, don't place it right into the corner. You want to place it on the honeycomb between the border. There you go. And then you <laughs> put the lid down gently. <laughs> just gonna do a big shout out to Mr. Austin. He's doing the um, he's being the cameraman right now and making me laugh a lot. So hi sir. And here is an example of the laser cut uh, embellishment inspired by um, henna and batik. And you've got the lovely engraving. And you've got the nice burnt edge with the plywood as well. Can you see that? Yeah. Right. Put it on me. Put it on me. On me. My groovy jumper. <laughs> okay, got it? 
So thank you so much for watching my laser cutter tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and if you like what you see please leave a thumbs up and um, please subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, thank you so much. And um, leave a comment below of anything that you would like me to do, any recipes, anything you would like me to make. And I think that's it and bye for now. Bye. Here's an example of my fabulous BTEC Fashion and GCSE Design Technology students laser cut work. Well, I hope you enjoyed the laser cut demonstration. If you are a design technology student or interested in CAD CAM, here is some information to help develop and improve your subject knowledge. And if you are sitting the exam in the summer or whenever, then this will help you with your revision. New and emerging technologies, computer-aided manufacturing, CAM, and we're going to be looking at computer-aided design, CAD. By using computer-aided manufacturing designs can be sent to CAM machines, such as the laser cutter, 3D printers and milling machines. Computer-aided design, CAD. Computer-aided design now has capability to design new products in 3D. Visualize them in a variety of materials and send images around the world for collaboration and consultation. Once production is finalized, these designs are sent to computer-aided manufacturers, CAMs, machines to be formed. 2D design, Autodesk and SolidWorks are common forms of CAD software used. When using CAD CAM there are advantages and disadvantages. So I'm going to now look at the advantages of CAD CAM. Ideas can be drawn and developed quickly. Designs can be viewed from all angles, measurements and with a range of materials. Some testing and consumer feedback can be done before costly production takes place. Fast and accurate production. Machines can run constantly on repetitive tasks. And here are the disadvantages of CAD CAM. Expensive to set up, programs, training and equipment is needed. You will also need to be trained and skilled using CAD, using 2D design or whatever software you use. And how to run and maintain the laser cutter as well. Maintaining equipment. Difficult to keep up with constantly changing and improving technologies is also a disadvantage. Here is an exam style question and answer to help you. This exam question was taken from the AQA GCSC paper. Name the CAD CAM process used to remove waste material to make different parts of a prototype. Describe the process you have chosen. As this video is about 2D design and the laser cutter, that is what I have chosen and selected for the answer for the response. So here is an outstanding response to the exam question. Information output from sources like 2D Design can instruct the laser to cut precisely, avoiding human error. Repetitive design, usually working with acrylic, plywood, card, and remember I talked about the materials like polyester satin, felt, cotton, leather. Possible reference to the setting up of a laser, X and Y coordinates, focusing, cutting speed, power settings, and there's also the extraction as well that needs to be turned on. So the fumes and the pollution of the smells are not coming into the classroom and they're going outside. As I mentioned at the beginning, use card for prototyping when laser cutting work to make sure the 2D design work is correct. Check the red lines are for cutting and green are for engraving. Check that all lines drawn on 2D design are clean and tidy. The scale and measurements are accurate. Once prototyping is fit for purpose, cut out the design on the expensive materials to avoid waste and cost. When using CAD 2D design for example, select the following colours, red to cut, green to engrave, the vector, the delicate lines, and black to raster engrave, quite the block colours, the block engraving. Depending on equipment and settings and colours may vary. And if you like what you see, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram under Make World Miss Markwell.